And welcome back to Let's Talk Real Estate with Corina Cisneros on 101.5 Sports Radio Lakes Region. I am Keith Murray, your producer, and time to talk to Corina about her expertise and what she really brings to the table here as being a real estate agent and uh, being a buyer's agent, being a seller's agent. And Corina, what, what do you got for us this week? Well, it's um, January, and soon uh, the spring market is will be here. Although I have been hearing that uh, January is the new uh, April. That's the new. That's the new thing, I guess. Because inventory is so low. Yeah. And it's lower than it was uh, last year this time. Yeah, it's even tighter. Yeah. It's tighter. So what does that mean? Uh, speed to property. Mm. If you uh, all of a sudden uh, you see a home and you want to get on it or get a bid on it. Uh, don't don't call your realtor and say, hey, I'm going to be there next month to see the property because it just won't be there. Not the good properties. Properties are going quickly. That's right. So, but <clears throat> let's say you're a seller. And so uh, I, I uh, read an article the other day on Inman News, mm-hmm. which is our uh, trade publication, Seven Ways Sellers Sabotage Their Home Sale. Even in this market. In any market. In any market. These are very basic things Mm -hmm. I just want to share with our audience. If you want to sell your house, first, call me. (laughs) Of course. And I I will sell your house, and I will save you from these seven mistakes that sellers can make to sabotage their sale of their home. All right, let's take them one at a time. All right, so much as has been said about keep your house clean, declutter, reorganize, pressure wash, paint, freshen up, look at the landscaping, make repairs, update light fixtures and plumbing hardware, all that good stuff. Yeah, that's all good. But here's the number one mistake most sellers do. And that is a very simple mistake. Mm -hmm. You have to be very careful not to make it. Mm -hmm. It's probably the most important decision that you will make when you sell your house. Aside from choosing the right realtor, of course. Well, this is going to help you prevent number one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which is, ready everybody? Overpricing your home. Everybody thinks their house is a mansion. (laughs) This is one of the most common sell sabotaging tactics sellers make. You have to pair up with a strong realtor who'll tell you, do not make this mistake. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants the most uh, for their home. We, we get that and we understand that. However, the buyer's perception along with the agent perceptions are likely to be less than how you, the seller, sees the value of your home. Sellers are always fearful of leaving money on the table. I get that. But money is perceived, not actual dollars. So there's a saying that you can't lose what you don't have. And overpricing is a classic example of this. Mm -hmm. If you price your home properly, you should be able to sell your house within a week to 30 days. Now, of course, it's not a standard rule for everybody. That's why us realtors still have a job. Um, So depending on your neighborhood, your town, and a lot of different factors, uh, your realtor will help you determine the the most appropriate price. Does that make sense, Keith? It does. Let's move on to number two. Number two, lacking preparation. So what do I mean with that? The notion that you don't really have to do anything and can throw a home on the market to see what sticks, it's just plain foolish. Every property has strong points and weak points and challenges. So talk to your realtor. For example, just assuming buyers can see past the clutter, overgrown landscaping, old worn furniture, or notice dog smells, is like taking money out of your wallet and flushing it down the toilet. All right, number three, making it difficult to show your property. If you are a real seller and you want to sell your property, don't put obstacles for your realtor to show your property. Allow showings by other realtors. Don't force your realtor to be there. Sometimes your realtor can't be there. Be flexible. Be flexible. Allow 
uh, a lockbox to be on your property. Make it easy for realtors who are showing three, four, or five properties in a row to show your property. Oh, I love this next one. <laughs> okay, number four. I'm guilty. <laughs> Hovering over showings. <laughs> Please, sellers, do not be at the home when you're showing. I did. Do not lurk around. Do not stick around. Buyers want to be able to talk with uh, their realtors. Um, so, you know, don't be there, okay? That's intimidating, and some buyers just don't like that. All right, here's a biggie one. Number five, not disclosing or denying repairs. There are things that scream attention, yet the seller shrugs their shoulders and thinks it's the buyer's problem to deal with. The sellers who offer to do very little or throw a couple of hundred dollars towards a several thousand dollar issue is likely going to send the buyer running yeah. to the hills, okay? I mean, it's a seller's market, but don't push it. Uh, number six, stepping over dimes to save nickels. Hmm, interesting. What is this all about? Everyone loves to save money when it comes to selling a house. Sure. Okay? But sellers who encounter nearly every item in an offer that has been requested is a huge turnoff. Mm. Focus on the big the big ticket items. Sure. Make it a simple consult with your realtor. Sure. Because they have the best sense of what can fly, what can't fly, right? And you don't want to push somebody over the edge. No. You know, or insult somebody. You no. Know? So you got to be careful. It's, so it's a fine line you walk. Buyers, right. uh, be careful because it's a seller's market and... If you push too hard, you may not get a deal, right? Okay. All right, what's next? Final. Finally. Putting unreasonable conditions on the sale. This can get complicated if the seller needs to find another home to purchase contingent on their home selling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's unavoidable and it has to be done that way. But the, the less conditions you put on the sale, the easier it will be for the buyer and seller. Well, all right, so I hope this has been useful.